Hello, I'm Shane Falco, here to bring you the 2012 Season Awards and uh, also to introduce you to the Hunky Cooper Award, which is our brand new award given out for uh, outstanding individual performance on the field. Uh, this is our version of the Heisman Trophy, if you will. Uh, here is a picture of this award. Uh, for many of you who don't know Hunky Cooper, uh, he was a former UNLV football player and an Arena Football League star. Uh, he started out winning a national championship at uh, no Navarro College in Texas before he uh, went to came to UNLV. Um, he went to UNLV and in his first game scored four touchdowns, uh, which was pretty uh, pretty impressive for his uh, Division One debut. Uh, he was a two-time All Big West selection back when they played in the Big West. Um, as a, in his senior year, he was an All-American punt returner. Um, and he, after that, after college, he uh, had a tryout with the NFL and with the CFL before coming to the Arena Football League, uh, where he became a superstar. Uh, he was had a 12-year Arena Football League career. Uh, his first year in the league, he was the MVP uh, as he played for the Arizona Rattlers. Uh, he won two Iron Man of the Year awards, and he was one of only two uh, two players to win both the MVP and the Iron Man award. Uh, he's a two-time champion, uh, Arena Bowl champion. Uh, he's always second all-time in all in all-purpose yardage uh, in the Arena Football League. He was named to the Hall of Fame class in 2011, and he was also named the fifth greatest player of all time in the Arena Football League. Um, and he's also played locally here in town uh, in flag football league. So, and he's currently the coach at Canyon Springs High School. Um, so it's a great honor to, to have an award and to have an award named after him. Uh, we appreciate um, his, his efforts and uh, him allowing us to use his name for the award. I spoke with uh, a couple of the, or a few of the finalists uh, for this award uh, and, and here's what they had to say. Hello, I'm Shane Falco, standing here, or sitting here, with a Pac-12 finalist for the uh, first ever Hunky Cooper Award, which is the LV Gridiron version of the Heisman. Uh, he's a finalist based on his standout individual performance as well as team success. Uh, so I'm here with Matt Zurich of the Radio City Blackhawks. How are you doing today? I'm doing. So this is your guys' first season in the grid. How are you guys uh, liking it so far? Good. We just can't, can't seem to get over the hump of a Mountain West win. But <laughs> well, I mean, it is, you know, it is different. Um, you guys are, uh, I mean, I just played you guys and won, but uh, you guys are, you, know, you guys definitely got got everything together. It's just adjusting to different style of teams, so. Uh, what were your guys' expectations for your first season over here? Man, coming over here, we didn't know what it was going to be like. I mean, we played in the other league last year, and that's no fun, you know that. Right. It's, this league's exceeded every expectation. I was telling my boy Brett over there before the year I wanted, I said 30, 22 passing, 8 rushing. I'm not going to get to that rushing, but I wanted 30 total touchdowns. I thought it was a good. And where are you sitting at right now? 20, Roughly 25 or 26? 27, 27, I think. After today? Yeah, after today. So, you, will you get a good game next week? Well, no, actually, you yeah. might not have a game. If they week. forfeit next week. So, you might not get there yeah. after all. Well, based off your expectations, how's your season gone to this point? I think good overall. I mean, it's been. Been better than I thought. I mean, we've got we actually had guys show up, which you know is probably the hardest part. Sometimes right. just people showing Always. up, and you know, winning helps, and winning does that. And Attendance is half the battle. And you know, between the games and the forum, I mean, there's always stuff going on. Right. So. Right. That's good. Well, winning the championship is certainly going to be your number one goal. Um, but what would it mean to you being the first ever LV Gridiron Hunky Cooper Award winner? And uh, which is given for the league's standout individual performance. I mean, it would be cool, but we can be realistic about it. I don't think I'm going to get it, but... Well, I mean, you have great numbers. Yeah, but I mean, just to be, you know, I've seen some of these other guys play. I checked you guys out last year, you know, playing against you and seeing the guys up in the SEC. It's just cool to be in the same, you know, in the, right. in the running with some of these guys like Yoder from Bursa and Disco and, you know, all the guys from the SEC and the Big Ten. Right. It's, like, yeah, it's good stuff. And for those of you who are watching this out there, uh, for those of you who don't know, what will happen is we take one winner from each conference after a, fl a finalist list, which he's one of the Pac-12 finalists. Uh, each finalist will then be presented to the entire league along with commissioner votes. Uh, so we'll have four finalist totals, so it'll be just like the Heisman. 
and then the, we'll, we'll uh, decide between the SEC, Big Ten, Mountain West, and the Pac-12. There can be only one winner, and it is open for everyone. It is stats-based, so it's not necessarily a popularity contest like other leagues have done in the past. Um, what do you feel uh, has separated your performance from other candidates uh, this season, and uh, do you believe you're the front runner in your conference? In the conference, I think I am. I think uh, you know I don't get too overwhelmed. I think I've been blessed with a lot of good teammates that if I make a mistake, they let me they let me know I made a mistake, and they don't you know they don't try to replace me. You don't have to sugarcoat so it just because your teammates sitting there. You can no. be honest about your teammates. No, he's my bodyguard. He just sits there, right? No, but for real, I mean. You know, without those guys showing up, I don't have a team and I can't play. So, absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's not it's not one on one racquetball or anything like that. So. Now, if, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I, I believe I heard you say, but is this your first season playing quarterback? Yeah. And you've put up these numbers and, yeah. and everything else, so that's very impressive. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I want to keep moving up, and hopefully, I'll be in the SEC eventually. You can only go from here. Yeah. yeah so, much. Well, this is uh, Matt Zurich of the Blackhawks. I'm Shane Falco. This has been. Uh, his interview for uh, as a finalist for the Hockey Cooper, and uh, good luck to you and the rest of the season. Thank you. Well, I'm Shane Falco. I'm sitting here with Chad O'Hara, is that yes. right? Uh, quarterback for the Weekend Warriors. He's a finalist for our first ever Hockey Cooper Award, which is our league version of the Heisman. Uh, it's awarded for uh, individual standout performance, which by far on the field, which by far you have done. Um, you guys typically only play one season a year. So obviously when you guys come out and perform the way you guys do, it was very impressive because you guys you know, have that little long layoff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I would say at the beginning of the season you guys started a little rusty, but you've obviously hit your groove since then. Yeah. Um, knowing that, what, do you guys, what are your expectations coming into the season? Uh, to win the Mountain West, you know, by, by far. You know. Uh, first game and a half of the season, we're really rusty. Everyone's on a different, you know, different page, a couple new guys. But uh, I see after the first half of uh, the second game, uh, we kind of put it together, kind of realized that it's gelling, and then just from there, it's been rolling. Right. You know? And it sure has looked that way. Yeah. Yeah. That's by far. Mm -hmm. um, well, based on your expectations for the season, how has the, the season gone to this point for you? For you? Besides the first game, it's gone exactly how we wanted to. Probably a little bit better. Um, we didn't think we were winning these games by as much as we have. Right. But, just shows how cohesive we are as a team. You know, everyone, everyone plays together. No one says, "Hey, I want the ball more than another guy." Right. You know, we score. Everyone's excited. You know, it does make it very hard to game plan for you guys because you guys are individuals. You guys are a yep. team unit. Yep. You definitely have the chemistry. It's no doubt about that. Yep. Um, certainly, winning the championship is your number one goal uh, by far, as any good team would be. Um, what would it mean to you to be the LV Gridiron first ever Hunky Cooper Award winner? Um, you know, which is given for us, that individual performance. Uh, it would mean a lot because um, all my teammates are, are pulling for me, and it's kind of a, even though it's individual award, you know, it's kind of like the whole team wanted. Yeah, you know, right it's kind of for you. Exactly. It's kind of like respect in the league, too. Right. So um, it'll mean a lot, not for me, but for the entire team. Right. And obviously, as a, I interviewed the quarterback for the Blackhawks earlier, um, he's in the Pac-12, you're in the Mountain West, so obviously you know he faces an uphill battle because there's going to be some favoritism for an upper league uh, player, but your numbers by far stand out. Um, so obviously for you to be even getting in there and to be considered would obviously be great. And it would be, I think it would be very, very well for the league in general if you were to yeah. Just because I mean, like, it, because the names that are being mentioned. Oh, uh, it would definitely be an honor. I mean, I see all these guys that have been playing for for a while, really good players. So it would be, uh, be awesome to, right. to win it and just to be up there with uh, other elite players. That's good. Uh, well, based on your performance, uh, what do you feel has separated you from any other candidates that are in your conference um, and just in general? And do you feel that in the com your conference alone, that you're the front runner? Um, I mean. You know, I don't know. Indiv well, individually, you know, stats are there, uh, but you know, uh, Bursa and Yoder, they're they're in the fold. They were, they beat us. So that's kind of the to me that's a tiebreaker. So to me, it comes down to if we both make it to the championship game, kind of the winner there. Right. You know, what happened? But the bragging rights there. There is a third finalist, but unfortunately, uh, the guy sitting next to you is not done as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you again for your time. Uh, thank look you. forward for the rest of the season and, and excited for your playoff run. Yep. Uh, I know this is on camera, but to be honest with you, I think you guys beat Bursa again. You're going to beat them. 
that's motivating for them, but I just the way I see things playing out right now, I mean, you guys are really playing very well. So uh, good luck. Again, this is Chad O'Hara from the Weekend Warriors and the rest of the season. Good luck, sir. All right, thank you. How's it going out there in LV Gridiron Land? I'm Shane Falco sitting alongside Angel Disco Marquez. He's a finalist for the Hookie Cooper Award. So uh, first I'd like to say congratulations for being considered one of the top uh, nominees for this award. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, this award is for uh, individual standout performance uh, on the field. Um, it's a new award this season, and uh, you could be the first winner. There are some good names out there. There are a lot of good names out there, not going to lie. Um, you guys are coming off of two straight championship seasons. Uh, you guys have set a goal for an undefeated 3P. Um, what were your expectations coming into the season? The, under, the undefeated 3P was all bare. Uh, bare and O. They, uh, they kind of threw that out there. and uh, I just try to do my best to, uh, to live up to their hype. They had high expectations for us this year. Bear always does. Well, what were your personal expectations for this season? I knew everybody was going to come out wanting to beat us. Um, and I knew everybody was going to give their hardest. So my just simple goal was to win every game possible. So far we've done that. Okay, we'll see. Um, well, based on those expectations, how do you feel the season's gone? This point? Obviously, you're still, obviously you're still undefeated. So. Everything's been so far so far. Hasn't been uh, super easy, but uh, so far so good. Can't, I can't complain. Well, obviously winning a championship is goal number one. Uh, again, it won't be your guys first. You want to straight now. Uh, what would it mean to you to be the first LV Gridiron, uh, the first winner of the Hunky Cooper Award, uh, given for standout individual performance? Because in the past, you have been uh, vocal about your snubbing an award, so to speak. I have been. Um, I think a lot of credit gives is given towards the system more than the actual player. And um, it still takes a quality player to win to win games in the system as Bruce Well. And I think winning the award will be just an appreciation of hard work, um, mental ability, not just physical. Because sometimes, like teams like... Uh, TMT, Bad Boys, and all these guys, you got to have mental strength and super super mental ability to break down teams like that uh, offensively. And I think that'll add to it as well, not just putting up really good stats and things like that. Right. 